Hey guys, my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path, which is located in downtown Forest City, North Carolina. As you can tell, I'm not in the store today, um, I, but I wanted to get this video done and get it uploaded so you guys could see how to use a new screw crimp tool. It's really easy and it's awesome to work with, so let's get started. Now, when you buy your screw crimp tool, it comes with your actual tool and it comes with some extra beads here, some extra little crimps. When you unscrew one side of your tool, you have a secret compartment here that holds extra screws for your crimps. When you unscrew the other side, you actually have a little micro flathead screwdriver. Now, these crimps are really super easy to use, and you can use them with pretty much any, any kind of beading wire that you would normally use. Plus, I'm going to show you how to use it on memory wire. So, to get started, you would string your beads onto just your regular beading wire. Um, today, I'm using the Softlex Medium Point, um, 0.019 diameter. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little screwdriver, and I'm going to unscrew the screw just a little bit. I don't want to unscrew it all the way out. I just want to unscrew it a little bit. So you would put your beads on there, put your screw crimp and your closure, and then you'll go back through the screw crimp. Okay, just like you would if you were using a regular crimp bead. And you would adjust your wire to however you needed it. Then, simply take the screw crimp and screw it back in good and tight. And it's completely finished on that end. That's how easy using a screw crimp is. Now, mind you, these screw crimps aren't super cheap like your crimp beads. So you'll want to use screw crimps for some of your nicer projects and not something that um, is less expensive or you're going to cut apart in just, you know, a few weeks. The cool thing about a screw crimp is the fact that you can use screw crimps to be adjustable pieces. So if you make something and they say, well, I love the piece, but it's too big, it's too small. If it's too big, the cool thing is you can unscrew the screw crimp just like I did. Take your beads off, however many you need to do, and then put your screw crimp back on. Now, you can also use the screw crimps on memory wire. Now, a lot of people hate to take the time to glue on the ends for the memory wire, or your memory wire is so tough, it's hard to make a really cool loop at the end. So, again, screw crimp to the rescue. All we're going to do is unscrew the screw in the screw crimp, And sometimes it is easier said than done just for the pure fact if you're like me and you wear glasses you don't see too good far away but once I get all my beads on here or I can even use this kind of like as for my ends my starting point I will thread the screw crimp on and pull it out to the very edge of my wire and so that way all I have to do is screw the screw crimp whoops so I need to unscrew it just a little bit more here put the screw crimp back on pull it to the end and make sure I screw it in nice and tight there we go now, I didn't get it perfectly all the way to the end, so I can take a little pair of cutters and nip that off. Now, if you know that that's exactly the size you want, then you can take a little bit of glue and dab a little glue on that screw. The only thing about it is if you dab glue in that screw, you're not going to be able to ever get the screw out again. And you see what a good, nice, finished end that gives to your memory wire. So there's all kinds of ways to use the new screw crimp and the screw crimp tool. 
And the best part about it is the screw crimp tool has a little ring on it so you can attach it to a keychain or whatever you want to do so that you don't lose it. But this is a definite for any beater's toolbox. So I hope you enjoy. Be sure and check out um, our store or stop or check out our website at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com to purchase the screw crimp tool. Hope you have a wonderful day.